Hello there galactic citizens, my name's Baba Joe and I'm guessing you're here to see my wares. I mean, why else would you click on the video, dummy? Well, since you're already here and whatnot, we may as well take a look into my oversized backpack, which for one day only is filled with items from the original Star Wars trilogy. Now for those born yesterday, that's episodes 4, 5 and 6, otherwise known as A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Oh, I love me some Return of the Jedi, mostly for the Ewoks, of course. I mean, I really like Ewoks. Really like Ewoks. I really like Ewoks. <laughs> uh, th that was weird. I'm not quite sure what came over me. It must have been some of the good old goober fish I had earlier. Anyway, let's get cracking with the necking. Now many folk out there seem to think stormtroopers have the most terrible aim in the entire galaxy. To which I say, you're absolutely right. Lady Coonhead jabbed the Hutt's bed half from point blank range and that's saying something. She's huge. Don't not tell the crime lord, I said that though. <laughs> Anyway, that's probably why the E11 costs exactly 2,000 credits less than the average laser sword. Yet it's still more expensive than Han Solo's Blastec DL44. 750 credits. Jeez. Everything about that guy is a piece of junk, and you can tell him that directly. Moving on, if you want to take a secret trip between Tatooine and Alderaan, that will set you back 17,000 credits. I'd recommend a one-way ticket though. Why? I hear you ask. Well, Alderaan's just so beautiful, you won't want to leave. Yeah, that's totally the reason we'll go with that. On a completely unrelated note, firing the Death Star Super Laser will cost you 20 billion credits. As for the Death Star itself, well, that's a measly uh, trillion, trillion credits. I know, I know, it sounds expensive, but how about you go trying to build a planet destroying battle station for any less? Make sure to come back to me on that, why won't you, punk? I'm sorry, where are my manners? How about I make it up to you, huh? Ah, here we go. Here's one of them T14 hyperdrive generators, which I'll give to you for, let's just say, 20,000 credits. Or what about a Hush 98 comlink? You know the communicator Qui-Gon Jinn used in the Phantom Menace? Trust me, 4,000 credits ain't bad for what is actually a repainted woman's razor. Wait a sec, what are two prequel trilogy items doing in my oversized backpack? Be gone, and take your foul smells with you. For these last four items, I'm really gonna have to rush. Apparently, I overcharged the Wookiee for a traditional bowcaster. And from what I hear, he's back in town and looking a little angrier than usual. Here goes nothing. Bringing someone back for a bounty without a work permit, 245 credits. Paying Boba Fett's daily expenses, 500 credits. The life of the guy that everyone knows I actually shot first, no, not Han Solo, 4,100 credits. Finally, if you wanted to hire a cantina band for when I inevitably marry the gorgeous Ewok, Nisa, <laughs> that'll set you back 3,000 credits. I guess it's either that or a lightsaber, so choose wisely. Oh. Dear. I hear Wookie noises. Well, Galactic Citizens, it's been fun having you for today's video, but I really need to shoot off here. You know what they say, Baba Joe, gotta go. 